this is Mr. Smith and here is a tutorial on how to do chroma key in iMovie which is something that iMovie can handle quite well understanding a few limitations first off when you have iMovie open you have to go up to iMovie in the toolbar go down to preferences now as you can see you can press command comma to bring up the preferences also that's what I usually do pretty much every OS 10 program that exists has the same command structure for bringing up preferences. What you want to make sure you have selected is show advanced tools. This will allow things like green screen as it says right here and a few other features as well. It's unchecked by default. You'll want to make sure it's checked. Next up, you need to record something in front of a green screen. Now here at Foloi we have a wonderful green curtain that we use uh, for this purpose, it's a bright green, works pretty well. I've heard people get good results from using a dollar store shower curtain that also happened to be green. You can also use a bright blue. You can't use any other color for iMovie, although other programs allow the use of other colors. So I just recorded myself peeking in, looking, acting all frightened, and then fleeing in terror not a big deal really. Actually I recorded something larger and then I cropped it down, but never mind about that. Now the clip I want to use as you can see is 7.9 seconds long. So I'm going to want my background for this be at to be at least 7.9 seconds if not longer. For that purpose I just went to openclipart.org and found a picture something relatively scary and this is not nearly as long, but we can fix that. First of all, well, let's turn off the Ken Burns effect because that's really annoying. So I click on that little gear, cropping Ken Burns. I want to set this to fit. And done. That's fine. Okay, now it's not long enough. So for that, I'm going to click again. I'm going to go to Clip Adjustments. And I'm going to make this be nine seconds long. There we go, that's good enough. Now, click on this. Let's select all of it. And drag this up. Don't drag this behind or in front of the clip. you got to put it right on top of it. And it's going to give us this pop-up saying, okay, well, what do you want to do? You want to replace the existing video that's here? It, even though it's a still picture, it's considered video up here. Uh, do you want to replace just the audio? Do you want to do a cutaway, picture in picture? These are all possible options, but what I want to do is green screen. So I'm going to select that. And now it shows up up top here saying, okay, well, this is being shown on top of this. So now let's rewind to the beginning and press play and see what happens. Okay, now you'll notice how it's not showing the entire clip. That's because when I drag it over, I drag it over to this side. If I move this over here, I can extend the length. So move it over close to the beginning just by clicking and dragging. This is not the newest of computers, so it's getting a little laggy with what I'm asking it to do. And drag it over this way. And now I should be able to rewind to the beginning and let's watch it. There we go. And I, of course, can export this as usual. I can add other special effects. I can add titles. I can add soundtracks, whatever. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.